Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shannon with Main Street and Beyond Travel Company, your source for all things travel. Be sure to visit our website to learn more. Today is our last at sea day on our seven night Eastern Caribbean itinerary on board the Harmony of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. Typically on our last at sea days, we always bring to you guys a full ship tour. So that is what we are doing today. If you haven't catched um, or watched the other vlogs, be sure to go back and watch those in our very first day embarkation day is when we always film a cabin tour and then our last at sea day is when we film a cruise ship tour so let's get ready let's head out and let's show you guys what to expect on harmony of the seas all right so we have made our way to the very back of the ship the aft of the ship and starting on deck four you do have your main dining room now the main dining room does have three levels and they are on three four and five just so you all know so the back of the ship on three four and five is going to be your main dining room we specifically had main dining room three so that is where we've been eating during our cruise one thing i do want to point out that is really nice on the royal caribbean elevators too is they're pretty well labeled for what you can find on each floor um, which is nice i'll show you guys that here and then also when you get off on each floor they have a full map as well as telling you what's on that deck so again, here is the entrance to the main dining room and all I am going to do is I am going to just turn around here. Here are going to be my elevators. And then also on deck four is where you are going to find your casino. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through the casino and then show you what's on the other side. Okay, strike that just one second. Next to the main dining room on deck four is also the Izumi Hibachi and Sushi restaurant as well. So this is going to be a signature dining experience that you can book on Royal Caribbean. So it is going to cost extra money than what is included in your cruise fare, just so you know. But it could be a fun experience to go and check out, especially if you love hibachi. All right, so here we are again, just walking through the casino on board. Again, on deck number four, it is a very large casino. So you guys will have a good time. They've got tables, slot machines, uh, full bar all that fun stuff all right so we are currently now walking out of the casino on the left side the port side of the ship and right here is where they did have a bunch of pieces of art you can see some still left here they do uh like auctions and bidding and stuff on the art if you would like to take it home with you and this is called park west gallery yep, right up there all right, so we're now walking through this long hallway here and we are going to make our way to the entertainment district here, which has your Studio B, which is where we saw an awesome ice skating entertainment show on, I believe our first night on board. And then they also have like a jazz club, an attic, which is the comedy club here. So let's go check those out. All right, so this is their Studio B that I was mentioning. And like I said, this ice skate show, was really, really neat. They played about three or four times during our seven night itinerary. So definitely be sure to snag some reservations for that. All right, so if I just turn around here from Studio B, I'm going to show you guys over here. It's going to be the attic. That is that bar, lounge, and comedy club. They also do have the diamond club over here for preferred Royal Caribbean uh, club members. And then right around the corner, they also do have the jazz bar. Here is one of those maps I was talking about, you guys can see. So we showed you the main dining room, walked through the casino, walked through the art gallery, showed you the attic, Studio B, as well as the Diamond Club, and Jazz on 4, which is right over here. So pretty neat. Then in the very front on deck 4 is going to be your Royal Theater, where you can catch any of their live shows. Okay, so similar to how the main dining room is in the back of the ship on decks three, four, and five, the Royal Theater is in the front on decks four and five. So we're not going to show you the front of them on five, but we are going to head up to five now and show you what you can find on the promenade. All right, so all we're going to do, here's the Jazz on Four place. There was the Studio B where the theaters are or where the ice skate show is. We're just going to walk up these stairs here and they are going to take us to the main central lobby, the promenade deck on deck five. All right, so like I mentioned, here is that second level of the Royal Theater now that we're on deck five. We'll show you all of this. And then the main dining room again is at the aft or back of the ship on deck five. But yeah, 
Let's go show you guys all of this. And then I do want to take you to the front and show you the spa center as well. All right, right away on the left, we run into Boleros, which is a bar and lounge area. They do have a lot of stretching classes here, as well as uh, dance classes where you can learn different dances like the samba, salsa, merengue. They even had country line dancing and fun stuff like that to do here in Boleros. In the middle here, you do have a short excursions desk if you should need any assistance with your short excursions or knowing what to do. Okay, so past the bars and lounges we just showed you are a couple shops here, Solera. There's another like perfume shop over there as well as a Prince and Green shop right here in the middle. And then we're gonna continue on to show you more of dining options and little pub options. They do have a Kate Spade store on board. However, it hasn't been open since we've been on board and it doesn't look really stocked either so it's probably just not open right now all right across from next cruise is cafe promenade where you can get your specialty coffees and pastries in the morning if you would like specialty coffees are going to be extra fees but we do have the signature dining uh or a signature beverage package and they are included which is nice so we've been able to have like lattes for breakfast and uh, donuts and stuff like that they do have a store for luxury watches all right next to cafe promenade over there is going to be your guest services should you need anything as well as this rising tide bar which is currently up there <laughs> and it will slowly come down here. All right, another really, really cool area on the promenade deck is going to be the Bionic Bar where the bartenders are actually going to be robots that are making your drinks for you. You just select what you want on a little tablet they have when they are open and you watch the robots make your drink. It's actually pretty sweet. All right, so we have walked up these stairs right here and made our way to deck six where you can overlook the promenade. There was that Schooner Bar like I was mentioning. You do also have your focus, your photo gallery. All right, so down there is the promenade we just showed you all. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and just simply turn around. There's those other set of elevators that I showed you on deck five. And we are going to go out and check out the boardwalk, which is on the back of deck six. All right, the first thing you run into here at the boardwalk is going to be Starbucks coffee on your right, as well as the doghouse on your left where you can get some hot dogs throughout the day. And right in the middle of the boardwalk is nothing else but a carousel, which is super cool to have that at sea. How we doing, honey? We're doing the old way. Whoa! It's your first time on a carousel. Whoa! <laughs> Here we go. What you think, Mr. Giraffe? Me and Mr. Dreff, we're having a real old good time. What do you think about this, Mr. Elefante? Hey, that was our name of our elephant, right? One thing I do want to point out what is nice about Royal is they do have, well, some of their ships, they do have interior balcony rooms. Now, these rooms can give you a little bit of that extra space you might be looking for without the price of the Ocean View balcony. So if you did want to book these, they are going to be a little bit cheaper than those ocean view balconies and you can overlook either the boardwalk here or another area that we will show you later as we continue walking through the boardwalk you are going to run into a few souvenir shops as well as the official royal caribbean shop as well of course nor no boardwalk would be complete without an arcade and this is actually one of a few arcades on board too uh, which is really cool I do want to mention though, all the games are an additional cost for you to play. All right, towards the back of the boardwalk here, you are going to have Sabor, Tequila, and or Tequila Bar in Taqueria, and it's going to be another one of those signature dining events if you would like to book that for a signature restaurant meal while on board. And then to the left is also going to be Johnny Rockets, which we did have, and it was really good. We had it for lunch one day, and again, that is going to be a small additional fee to dine here.
also on the boardwalk, you have the end of the ultimate abyss, which is the largest slide at sea. How crazy cool is this slide? <laughs> it goes all the way up from, I believe it's deck 15 or 16, all the way up there. And you just come all the way down. <laughs> Something really fun for the kids and adults to enjoy. Okay, so we are walking back through the boardwalk to go back inside and show you all what is next. All right, so what we are going to do, we are going to skip deck number seven, and that is only because it is all staterooms here. Um, so that could be where your stateroom is located. We're going to make our way up to deck eight, which has Central Park. All right, so we have made our way to deck eight to visit Central Park, another one of the neighborhoods here on board Harmony of the Seas. Here's that rising tide bar that we showed you on the promenade deck that was currently up. It was here at Central Park, so we'll show you guys that. They do have a few other signature dining restaurant options, some bars, and some shops. So right away to the left is Chop's Grill. Again, one of those signature dining reservation options you guys can book for an extra fee. Also, I do want to point out above Central Park here are some more of those indoor balcony rooms. Across from Chop's Grill is 150 Central Park. Again, another signature dining restaurant. I suggest doing maybe a couple of these. They are supposed to be very, very good. And especially if you guys are celebrating a special occasion, you can grab some really nice meals. And here is that rising tide bar, like I said, that will uh, go between decks. So it goes from deck five up to deck eight here. As we continue walking through Central Park, you do run into the trellis bar, a nice little spot to hang out and relax at night. That isn't as crowded as some of the other bars and lounges. So we have spent a lot of time here just relaxing and taking in the gorgeous views that you can find here in the Central Park neighborhood check out these awesome water slides up here that you get a view of from Central Park that we're going to show you up on those pool level decks. All right, next up we do have Park Cafe. Now if you guys watched our Embarkation Day vlog, you guys know this is where we had a quick bite for lunch when we got on board, but they do also serve a breakfast as well as some a few options for a dinner. All right, right across from Park Cafe we have Jamie's Italian. I have heard wonderful wonderful things about this restaurant here again another signature dining option all right as we keep walking here through central park we are coming up on the vino cafe it's a little wine bar we might try this out here uh later because we haven't had this yet vintages vintages is what it is called pretty cool we got some cool looking heart-shaped sunglasses back here all right, so we are going to go ahead and make our way back inside from Central Park, and I want to show you one other area here on Deck 8. All right, so this is Dazzles. It's a little nightclub lounge bar area. It does span two decks, Decks 8 and 9, if you want to come here for some late night entertainment and look at the view of the boardwalk out of the back. How cool is that? All right, so we are going to go ahead and skip 9, 10, and 11 because those are mostly staterooms. We'll show you Wonderland on deck 12 and then we're going to go up and show you what's happening on these upper decks. All right, so we made our way to deck 12 to show you all Wonderland, which is a very neat style cuisine here on board. I'll show you guys the sign. <clears throat> So Wonderland is another signature dining reservation you would need to make on board. All right, so we have made our way up to deck 15, which is going to be like the sport and pool deck. And I'm gonna kind of combine these upper decks into one and you'll see why it's because they all kind of flow together once you're outside. Um, but I do wanna let you know, another arcade here on deck 15. So here's a good little view of the aft of the ship or the back of the ship here on deck 15 and 16. Um, you are going to have your flow riders, super fun. We'll show you those. Ultimate Abyss, that top of that slide we showed you that ends at the boardwalk on deck six. You have a bar, a zip line, a basketball court, mini golf, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go check it all out. If you want some free ice cream here, they are going to be scooping it up for you. So it's a 
so I just kind of showed you guys some clips of what's going on. They do also have mini golf. They have the whole sports court like I showed you as well as some ping pong tables. Starting right here is where that zip line goes across. It goes over the entire boardwalk down below on deck six. All right, so back over here is the living room. It is a venue reserved for teens 12 to 17. They have a little outdoor hangout area as well as an indoor hangout area. Pretty sweet shot here of everything going on. Walking back towards midship, you do come across this mini bites area. We have eaten some light lunches here and little snacks plenty of times throughout the day. All right, we are starting to make our way towards the splash zones here and all the water fun. They've got a little baby splash pad, more of a toddler friendly splash pad, plenty of pools and so much more here on the central uh, upper decks. Another little bar coming up here as well as the towel rental area. Towels are completely free as long as you do return them. If you do not return them, it is a $25 per towel fee. <laughs> All right, so again, we are kind of about midship right now. Pretty cool view of stuff going on. So there's a pool on this side as well as an adult only area over here. There is another adult only area we'll show you here in just a second. But look at the view of these awesome water slides you guys can enjoy while you're on board the ship. All right, right now we are going to continue walking straight past those pools. You do have a nice little spa hot tub area out here. And then we are going to walk into the solarium and show you some footage from in there. That is going to be your private adult only area full of a bar, hot tubs, plenty of relaxing chairs, and much more. Want us to help you plan your cruise vacation? We provide professional travel services and expertise to assist you with cruising documents, onboard activities, port excursions, and more for no additional cost to you. To learn more, visit us at www.mainstreetandbeyondtravel.com and fill out a cruise travel form today. We are fully licensed and certified and cannot wait to help you plan your dream cruise vacation.